Okay, folks, this is a dragon. On the topic of uh, solar panels. It's about 9 15 in the morning, so I had to get up on this roof before the breeze sprung up. Solar panels for power generation. Um, they're very uh, vulnerable in efficiency to weather conditions cloud, rain, ice, snow, smoke. That sort of thing. Not much you can do about it. But some of these weather conditions provide a lot of uh, residue particles that settle on the solar panels. In effect, cutting down the efficiency of the uh, photovoltaic cells with regards to their interaction with sunlight to produce power off these solar panels. Now this system here is a grid integrated system. 48 volt DC panels. Uh, the system's rated at the moment around about two and a half kilowatts, a little bit more. And uh, with all uh, solar systems generating power, whether it's a standalone off grid one or a grid integrated system like ours, one of the biggest problems, and we live in a rural area, and this will apply to urban areas too, is. Uh, residue on the on the solar panels. I don't know if you can see it too well on camera there but there's quite a layer of dust on this. We live in a rural area the dirt track out the front of our place single vehicle and agricultural activities around the area uh, there's a lot of dust in the air. The problem with the dust is that it puts a very thin film on these panels and generally cuts down the efficiency of the photovoltaic cells with regards to sunlight. Now, I don't know if you can see it too well on camera here, so I've got a tissue. <laughs> Just wipe it off. You can see the dirt and dust that's just come off this particular panel. Now I've got uh, what, 15 panels, 14 panels, and they're all covered in this junk. Alright, so with solar panels, uh, you've got to keep them clean so they operate their maximum efficiency. You get up on the roof and uh, got to wash them down. Some of this dust can become encrusted depending on the composition of the dust, the moisture levels, dew, humidity and that sort of thing. So uh, you've got to uh, Sometimes put a bit of elbow grease into it and gets the surface dust off, but the underlying crust um, you might have to use it to detergent sometimes and uh, to get them clean with a soft broom or a mop and then thoroughly rinse off because some detergents do, uh, as part of the composition, have grease and oils in them. And if that you leave that residue on the panels, um, then it attracts dust and tends to encrust it over a period of time. So uh, that's pretty well it. The initial system we had installed in 2010 under the government subsidy scheme, um, an off grid standalone system just wasn't, uh, the cost was, was too high for us. And this is another spin on prepping too. Um, the fast approaching retiring aged. I've been forced to retire due, due to a medical injury. But anyway, uh, cost of utility prices aren't coming down. And what we looked at was in our retirement years is to offset the cost of power. Now those panels there was the initial 1.5 kilowatt system under the government subsidy scheme. What we did was, a bit of forethought, was instead of having the standard 1.5 kilowatt inverter um, which was supplied under the um, government subsidy scheme, we opted for a 3 kilowatt inverter. So that over time, as finances allowed, we could expand the system just by putting more solar panels on without having to change the inverter. So uh, 
that's pretty early our power consumption here is very low according to uh, the statistics and number crunching on our uh, power bills it's just the three of us here if you include the dog um, average power consumption is uh, around about equivalent to one and a half people so it's a lifestyle we practice um, reducing our power consumption as much as possible all right folks thanks for that nice and warm up here on the roof but uh, got other things to do i'll see you later